It's time to see what justice is being done to Tech Toys this year. Hey look, I found Ray. I'm here at New York Toy Fair and this year the Toy Fair is a little special for me because I'm going to be a mom soon if you couldn't already tell. So we get to see how Playtime is going to evolve for the next generation. And every year, Playtime gets a little more high tech. For starters, this year kids can make their own plastic action figures with 3D printing machines. And depending on the age, it's safe enough for children to use these machines unsupervised. This fall, Mattel is selling the Thing Maker for $300. The 3D printer creates objects from spools of melted colored plastic. You use an app to pick from a preset selection of toys, but you can snap several pieces together to make an action figure or jewelry. The door locks so you can't get hurt during the printing process. We used to make things with Play-Doh or the Easy Bake Oven or Jelly Creepy Crawler Bugs. Now it's all about melting your own plastic toys. And it's not all so expensive. The Three Doodler Start is a $40 3D printing pen. It's so kid safe. You can melt the plastic right on your skin and it won't burn you. It's sort of like a hot glue gun in concept. You load the plastic and draw on the air. It only takes about 10 seconds for the plastic to cool. You can make anything, toys, art, jewelry, it ships in May. And back to Mattel, it also upgraded the virtual reality Viewmaster to now include a headset jack. You still need to put a phone inside to experience the programs, but on some games, a sibling without a headset could play along, acting as your guide to decipher puzzles. The new Viewmaster 2.0 model cost $40, which is $10 more than before it comes out in the fall. Barbie always puts a new touch on tech, and this year she has her own drone, but she would rather have you call it a hoverboard. This remote-controlled flying quadcopter has Barbie fixed on top and comes out in the fall for $60 and she can fly her drone to her brand new smart home dream house. The Barbie Hello Dream House has speech recognition. Say Hello Dream House, followed by a command, and you can turn on the elevator, turn on different lights, or throw a dance party. The party doesn't come cheap. The dollhouse is $300. And when I look back at the tech toys from previous years, it's clear that companies are moving away from just slapping an iPad or iPhone screen on a toy and calling it a tech toy. Not everything needs an app. And whether you're talking to Barbie's dream home or to Playmates Talk To Me Mikey Ninja Turtle, which has hundreds of replies to kid questions, these toys are not storing information in some server in a cloud. The tech this year just gives it a slight new twist, so kids still need to use good old make-believe and imagination. Reporting from Toy Fair in New York City, I'm Bridget Carey.